Hi everybody, this is Lawrence Simon, otherwise known as Crap Mariner. I'm going to demonstrate a little something to you. I came up with this idea to do a Tesla coil Van de Graaff generator thing, but I didn't want to waste four or six or eight prims to do the uh, brass circles that you always see around them. Um, and I realized that I could cut that number in half. As you can see from the progression from the right to the left, uh, we go from a tube to a copper tube to uh, a kind of flat disc. And then if you look down, it looks sort of like one of those uh, Cylon battle stations. Uh, then it looks like a platter and then two platters, at which point you can put a cylinder through them. And it looks like that uh, you've got actually four discs instead of two, saving you. Uh, it uses up half the prims for doing it. So uh, let me show you how I did it. Okay, we take this guy and we're going to duplicate him, right? Then we copy him over and what we're going to do is under texture, we want it to be copper. So I go to copper and some seamless copper and oh man, does that look pretty. Okay, we now take the tube and we move it over again and we go to object. And this time we're going to twist it around 90 degrees. Blech. I guess we better twist it again 90 degrees. And there, we have a flat disc. Isn't that cool? So we went through all that trouble to get a flat, shiny disc, right? Well, let's move it on over. And now we are going to tell it profile cut 0.75. And we get the Cylon battle station shape. And let's drag it over again. Thank you, Nardo. Good boy, that's my lab assistant, Nardo. He's a good boy. And we do a hollow 95 so that now we have the platter shape. We move over again and we do a copy. And now we've got two of them. So we get four platters for the price of two. And why is this important? You're thinking, well, let's make six. So we've now got six platters for the price of three. Don't you love how you save prims? Why is this, and you're thinking, well, the gaps. The gaps there, th those look awful, right? Well, let's fix that. We'll take the, we'll make a post here. So we're gonna take the tube. Uh, we're going to reverse all that we've done. And there, and eliminate the twisting. And then we tell the tube to become a cylinder. <gasps> and we turn the cylinder. And I think it's going to have some shear to it. So we take the shear out. And just for texture purposes, let's make this brass. There we go. That doesn't look too nice. Let's pick another brass. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. And we make sure that the angle is just right, a three. And notice how when we put that through there, put that brass through there, you see just the platter sticking through. So it looks like those are individual circles that are brass, pla I mean, uh, uh, copper platters. But really, you're seeing one, two, three, four, five, six platters for the price of three prims. And that's how you do it. Thank you, Nardo. You've been such a great assistant, boy. Yes, you are. Okay, so there you go. And uh, there are all sorts of techniques. These are great for, say, doing uh, posts for a bridge, like the bridge that we've got there, the drawbridge that we've got on Edlo. Uh, it's great because what you do is you take a block and you make it hollow, 95. And you're thinking, oh, and you know, I've got to use. I want to have a bunch of posts here, right? Well, 270, line it up, and then profile cut 1.25 and 0.625, I believe. There we go. And that's the great thing about these uh, setups. You, you're able to take that, and let's get the angle right, 270. Let's see if you'll align them right thinking, oh, I'm going to, for, for 10 posts on a railing, I'm going to need 10 of these. Well, no, you, all you need is five. 
So what you do is one, two, three, four, five. Now you're thinking, okay, well, those look like a bunch of freaking staples. Well, all I gotta do is. Oh, sorry about the tab. Fire. And O, O1. And turn it. See, the thing is. In reality, two objects cannot occupy the same space, but in Second Life, they can. So, from this perspective, it looks like there are ten prims sticking down, but really there are five. And these are ways that you can cheat the system into thinking that, oh, well, I've got ten posts, I need to use ten prims. No. If you do it correctly, you can come up with ways of conserving prims very easily doing these. And of course, you could do sculpties and get them all bent out of shape and, you know, do it all with just one freaking prim to create the, uh, that Picasso in, in uh, uh, Daily Plaza in Chicago, for crying out loud. But uh, this is for when you're not really good with sculpties and you just want to get, uh, get a whole bunch of uh, complex objects, but uh, save on prims. So there you go. A few techniques on uh, saving yourself some prims. Uh, my name is Lawrence Simon, otherwise known as Crap Mariner, and uh, you can see the awful garbage that I build in the center of Edlow Island. That's why everyone else lives around the outside of it, so that it kind of conceals that tower. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.